There you go, she both know the rules. Let's have a good clean fight, watch your heads in close and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, here we go. So the story continues for the darling of the Dubois family. 21-year-old Caroline entering her Second fourth round. professional fight. She's looked really good so far in with Bulgaria's Milena Koleva, who's in her 26th of golf in professional experience. But such a, an exciting young amateur, wasn't she, Caroline? Yeah, she's, I think, I remember actually sparring her when she was only, she must have only been a kid, it was not long after 2012, and she was so confident, and, and she didn't give me any respect, and that's what, she's come to the, the pros and does, just, just does what she wants. How do you think she's settled down, because she's punching hard, getting in the pocket, looks like she's enjoying herself. I think she's settled straight away into the pro game, she's uh, sitting down on a shot, I think she probably rushed her pro debut a little bit, but you know, probably a little bit over eager. But since then, fight number two and three, she was absolutely fantastic. Two stoppages on this slate already for Dubois. Obviously, early days, the novice opponents and difficult to match these superb Olympians. And a oh, great shot hand from Dubois. She's fast and reads the sport so well lovely body work yeah yes. go on sorry tash no, no, she was it she's she gets in and out she just leans back where the, where the, um she's out of range to be counted but then she look, comes back in and she's in in range to punch oh good shot yeah look really transferring away from the left to the right banging those shots in that was a good right hook that lovely double jab oh, lovely one two there as well good jabs and a, a left hand and all a little too much at the moment for Milena Kaleva, who has won 10 of her 25. But Dubois already looking a level or four above Kaleva. She started off the round with a good lead hand. She was jabbing and hooking over the lead hand that was coming, but now she's using the backhand and mixing it. And she's landed with some great shots. in the ring very soon I think Lucas Brown not very happy he won't be the opponent a good shot here Caroline Dubois lovely one two no no knockdown just kind of lost her balance there Steve Kaleva but They're very close Daniel and Caroline and he's always telling us that she is going to definitely beat hit whatever he does in the ring but he's going great guns again after that one loss to Joe Joyce here is Dubois and she's Got a predatory finishing instinct about her. Yeah, she's driving that backhand all the way through, whether that's coming round or whether that's coming straight. Another aggressive, hard-hitting southpaw. I'd love to have seen your spars. <laughs> the sun in the water. Oh, and a little shot there. From Dubois. And just losing a balance there skidding as well that won't help Milena Kaleva because she's in a, a sea of trouble here really with the fast fist of Dubois she doesn't really know where the shots are coming from Matt no no the hand speed of Dubois the variety switching the attack from body to head some of them down the middle some of them up the middle round the side she's got good variety in that backhand and this is a woman who has challenged for an IBF title before against Ameba Hamadouche in 2017. We're stopped in the ninth round. A 
Lovely work from Dubois to the body. Yeah. Leva sucking it up and trying to come back with something of her own, but some damage to the nose too for the Bulgarian. What I really like about Caroline as well is she's moving ahead a lot more in this fight. And the defense is, I mean... Let's get straight back to Alan Aroba, who's got a special guest, Jermaine Defoe, with her. Massive night of women's boxing. Who are you most excited to see? Obviously the big, the main event, Teresa Shields, Savannah Marshall. Some bad blood there. I've been watching the whole build-up. Um, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. It's a big night. Big fight fan? Massive. I've, I've been a boxing fan since like since the time I could walk really. So like there was no way I was missing this one, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to watch this one. What are you making of this all-female card? Because it's the first time we've seen a card like this on British TV. It's amazing. Like when you talk about obviously how far women boxing has come, women's sport to be fair in this country. It's just amazing to see. And like um, someone actually asked me the question today. He said, oh, I said, I'm going to the boxing. And I was like, oh, who's fine? I told him. I said, nice. No, all women tonight. Um, Pat Tarina, Full House, and everyone's buzzing, the whole country. So I'm just delighted to be here. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Great to hear from him, and I can vouch he's a massive fight fan. Jermaine Defoe, we've seen him ringside plenty of times. It's great he's here tonight for the ladies. Yeah, I, I, like I said before, it's, it, we need both sexes to be supporting. It's a male-dominated sport. This needs to be a male movement as well. Third round of this one, the blue and purple of Caroline Dubois, the black and yellow of Milena Kaleva from Bulgaria. 13 years older at 34. Again, a little bit like we saw with the Arctic Stall fight. Game and tough and stubborn, but being outclassed. Yeah, but well, she's catching shadows here. She's the speed and the head movement and the angles of Dubois. Just too much for her. She doesn't know where these shots are coming from. Sinking the body shots in, driving the, the, the backhands down the middle. Oh, they say from the corner, the red corner. Shamer Ringer believes. She got a punch through that really hurt Kaleva, but back comes the Bulgarian. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, she, she's, she must have thought she'd hurt Caroline to go, go at her like that, but she like, looks like she's tired herself out a little bit. Caroline just gained, gained herself and got back to it. How she is standing from them hooks is unreal. Beautiful right hand from Caroline Dubois, who feeds off the stable alongside not only her brother Daniel, but Adam Azim's in their brother Hassan as well, Chris Billum-Smith. They're flying, Lawrence Akoli too, and this is good from Dubois. Yeah, nice single body shot there, just fainted to the jab, stepped to the side, lovely right hook around the back of the elbow. You know, she's really looking to generate power into these shots now, Dubois. Whipping in the body shots. I like the way she gets her hands back up after she finishes punching. She doesn't stand there admiring her work. She makes sure that she either moves her head, steps out, or gets her hands straight back up behind her ears. Exciting round. Backstage we go again. It's all happening. Kyle has got Alicia Baumgartner. Now listen, there's been so much build up to this fight all week, there's been plenty of entertainment, lots of popcorn was needed at the weigh-in yesterday as well, what can we expect tonight? Nothing but fireworks, uh, amazing show, amazing fight and crown unified champion of the world. You've had five extra weeks to prepare for this one, how have you worked through that? Took it as a positive, went back to the gym, sharpened up on a few things and again always stayed prepared and, and ready and just ready for tonight. I'm looking forward to it, good luck. Thank you. It's a co-main event, Tasha, which has really captured the imagination. What do you think about the five-week gap and who that might favour? It's it's tough because what, what, five weeks is like when you get into the nitty-gritty oh. camp. It's when you spar and start, you know, when you, you've lost that, you know, you, you're getting into the fifth stage. So where do you start the camp from? Do you, do you have a week off and then go back into it or do you make it an extra long camp, which is which takes a two-month long, two long camp to a three? She's definitely really trying to ruffle Michaela Mayer's feathers this week. And we are very excited about that one as well as the main event later on. Caroline Dubois looks up to Clarissa Shields as a real idol. And she picks Shields to beat Savannah Marshall. Everyone's picking something different. <laughs> well, it's, they're those type of fights, aren't they? They're the best ones when everyone's divided second half of Dubois' own fight, her career, fourth appearance, she wants to 
top bills, arenas, maybe even stadium shows. This is a groundbreaking night. And Dubois, very happy to be part of it. Milena Kaleva still chipping away in there, trying to pearl her own leather. Just hasn't got the quality. Great off again. I love the way she pivots around there like that. Yeah, exactly. Lands a shot and then a oh, beautiful right hook upstairs there. Switching body, heads. Bulgarian corner really trying to employ their woman to put the pressure on Dubois. But each time she comes forward, there's the fast counter punches and lovely movement from the Romford woman. It's okay to want them to put the pressure on, but if every time you step forward you get a big backhand in your face or a lead hook, it, it, it discourages you a little bit. A couple of rights there too, the crowd enjoying this. And down goes the Labour in the fourth round, and there is a breakthrough for Caroline Dubois, whose beautiful skills are backed up with power. End of that one. I didn't think that was a, a knockdown initially. I thought she kind of got bundled down. But he just took the word out of my mouth. I, I, I thought the second one was more of a knockdown than that one. It was counted. Let's have a look. I mean, I can see why they scored the knockdown, but it was kind of a cuffing shot, really, wasn't it? Cuffing right hand. Almost round the back of the shoulder. It was a, a shoulder shoved down. Maybe Dubois got away with that one, but she got the count. It's a 10 8 round, and she's in total control anyway. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, one, one all around, no question. Not even close. Left hand Whitaker hiding under the cap. He's not hiding. <laughs> not Ben. Not a shy guy like Ben Whitaker. <laughs> Oh, good shot. We want to see him back in the ring soon. Just uh, nursing a couple of uh, injuries after that appearance in Saudi Arabia. But such a talent. And, of course, part of that Olympic team alongside Caroline Dubois. Ben struck silver. Caroline unlucky not to medal in Tokyo. Start sharp here at the start of the fifth round. Really nailed Khalil with some hard shots. Total focus from Dubois and always looking for the hurtful shots and trying to seek out the knockout any way she can. Yeah, she's very much like Harris in the sense of that, like every shot is accurate, it's hard, but she is putting them together really well and mixing them up. And again, she's showing her development in, 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 in how she's putting a, a repertoire of punches together. And I think the thing with Caroline as well is she's only 21. Yeah, such a baby. And it's developing very, very quickly. She took one there, she could have capitalised there. Lightning fast, lightweight. Dubois and Milena Kaleva still chugging away. Great effort. It is, and again, like like Marina in the last fight, she's tough as, as nails, and she's been hit with everything, and she comes back. She is getting through occasionally. Just it's just nothing to the table. Oh, really shot. 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 Really hurt by that one. This could be the second half. The finisher. It is. On a dream night, something she's wanted since she was an 11 year old girl. And she has the O2 standing in appreciation. Yes, it's early doors in her pro career, but that's four in a row, three by knockout. It was dominant, it was terrific, and there, Tasha, the icing on the cake. It is, she was looking for it, and, and that shot that she caught her with, it's what it, I was just saying earlier, when you cannot catch your breath and you can't recover, and she's, you, you try and defend it, but then you're open to all of the shots, and there was a great call from the referee.
Yeah, definitely. She was uh, in a lot of pain there. Kaliva doubled up, wind knocked out of her. Hurts in the head as well, I think. Caroline Dubois then unloaded both hands. Shots raining down on her. And the referee was absolutely correct to jump straight in there. She was, you know, she was under the cost really from the start of the fight, Kaliva, but tough durable experience knew how to survive the moments but that body shot there really sickened her and when she seen you know what she, she just went through the gears then Dubois and uh, was, that, that was impressive yeah you can see it now she just dips under and it goes under the rib um, under the elbow sorry and just it rounds the floating ribs and you can see the shots just raining in and the referee just calls it tough and game Melina Kaleva but a very classy performance again from Caroline Dubois. Great to watch. Focused, fast hands, variety. Now look at Shane McGuigan. Use your head. You found the body shot. And now you've got the job done. And I think, Matt, the level of opposition, while difficult to match these brilliant young women, is good in that they're tough, they're stubborn. It wasn't a one round blowout she got a workout and she looked the part yeah exactly and knowing when to step on the gas when to step off get you know she she was going through the gears you know picking your shots you know opening up the defenses of these KG opponents but um what i like about the war as well is when she's defending her shots she goes she goes very uh, compact into a crouch isn't that a wonderful image Caroline Dubois, who was inspired by 2012, and 10 years later, it's all smiles on the grand stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sean McAvoy calls his stop to this contest at 1 minute 53 seconds of the fifth round, declaring your winner by TKO, and still undefeated! Sweet Caroline Dubois! And a little music to go with it. Sweet, successful, fourth professional win, another stoppage, and another great performance from the Olympics.